it is time to iMovie. So let's go down here. Uh, this is the iMovie pro, uh, version we're using, iMovie 9.0.8. And of course, here's the iMovie X, which is purple. We're going to use the gold. And so we're going to click that open and let that interface open there. Okay. Here we are. Okay, we're going to just dive right in here. Uh, when you first open iMovie, like we just did, and it comes up and it's going to look just like this. I, like I say, I shortened this a bit so uh, so we could, we could kind of fit it in there into the window, capture window that I'm using for, for creating this tutorial. So if you're using the computer labs on campus, and I, and I urge you to do that, uh, because of the, I, I, their uh, power, as far as their processing power, is a known entity. I know that they have plenty of oomph to do the job, whereas people don't usually buy computers with the idea to edit. So it's very likely that the computer that you have at home, your personal computer, is not going to be uh, happy with, with what we're, we're going to be doing. Um, Anyway, there are three things that I want you to do. Now, you people that have your own computer, you only need to do this once. But the people that use the lab computers, um, they're going to have to do this each and every time they open iMovie. And after that, they're okay. And of course, their projects and all that will be stored on their hard drives will still be fine. That's, that's all good. You don't have to, that, that will be saved. And while we're on the subject of saving, let me just say, iMovie dynamically saves. You do not have to save it, nor can you even choose to do so. So that's a really good thing as far as saving your work. Uh, the other advantage to that is that you can undo Command Z on the Mac, or you can go up here to undo. The last thing I did was just rename something. That's so you can undo or Command Z all the way back to the last time you open. If you didn't like something, just keep on doing Command Z. Okay, so we're going to be diving in here pretty quick. So here are the three things that I want uh, the people that are uh, going to open iMovie for the first time on their own computers or using the lab computers every single time. Number one, go to iMovie, Preferences. Under General, it's number one, click Show Advanced Tools. Now I'm going to click that and I want you to notice that down here something just happened. I'm going to unclick and watch, just watch this area right here. Okay, I'm unclicking. Here we go. So I have no idea why this is not enabled all the time, but that's number one. Number two, go to Browser, Show Fine Tuning Controls. And, uh, this is important to have this enabled so let's just have that and close that out that's number two and number three uh, the way this is set up is antithetical to professional editing video editing I have no idea why they do that I think there's uh, no idea but uh, what we're gonna do is switch that around and that's just because I can't stand to look at it that way <laughs> so here we go uh, in other words here's your timeline up here that's wrong. It should be down here. And here's where all your clips and all are for preview. And that's wrong. It should be up there. So we're going to switch that right now. And there we go. And now you are all set up to edit. Now I already have this uh, Richmond hard drive mounted. And you've seen that it had a lot of stuff on there. It also had some events and projects. And we're going to use those uh, to, to uh, play with right now. Uh, I'm going to, uh, we're going to use this one here. This are, these are our events. This is the event library. And this is where you're going to import all your video. Import all your video only. And it's going to go into one of these. Now, you have to select which one. That makes sense. Um, here it's, it's showing me what's, what's in there. Because it's already had clips. Um, so, I'm going to select this one. And it already has some clips, but I'm going to select some more. And here's how you get your video in there. File, Import, Movies. So here's where, uh, if you thought ahead, you had all your stuff here on uh, your external hard drive. 
Now remember, you can't keep it on the lab computers, the computer labs computers, because at the end of each session it erases it, right? So don't store stuff on there. So I, I, this had a, it was too cluttery, so I put everything on here. Uh, so I'm going to go in here just so I could show you the iMovie events and projects are already set up. And, it, and if you didn't, if you were doing that for the first time, the next time you looked at that after we doing what we're doing now, uh, you, you would see that. So here I'm going to import this and I'm going to look for something that's not too big uh, so we can uh, import that in there because uh, we, we obviously don't want a two hour movie here <laughs> to, uh, to import and I think it's what I'm looking for here it's called it's maybe not even on here actually I think it's on my desktop sorry sorry but this is part of the thing you've got to search for things uh, looking for something that says this there we go it's only one minute so here we go we're going to import that in there we're going to add to the existing event we want to make sure it goes to Richmond. Remember, you cannot, it's only going to go to a hard drive. You cannot direct it to a folder. But you can direct it to an event. And if it's not the one you like, you can create a new one. In fact, we'll do that right now. We'll call it uh, test uh, ET. Okay. And leave this optimized visitor, just, just leave it right there. And copy files, yes, it's a better idea to copy them. If we move them, it's going to delete them from wherever they are and copy them to your external hard drive. But uh, it's very likely that, I mean, I hope that you're keeping everything on your external hard drive. So just leave that to copy. All right. And I created a new event. It's going to the hard drive Richmond. And we're going to import that. And depending how long this takes, good, it's not going to take too long. Because movie file, you never know, uh, uh, and it's going to do thumbnails in a minute. The next phase is it's going to create the thumbnails, and there we are. So look, now we have the tutorial tester, and now there we have our slow spider. Okay, let's uh, let me go back up here, and I want to show you that something else I forgot to turn back on. Uh, because I have it turned off. Audio skimming, which is this case. You can use these shortcuts and I urge you to do so. It's a good thing. Uh, but it's audio skimming. Now I have it turned on. There's no real loud audio here, but this gets kind of annoying. You can hear the audio now. Okay. So there we have the spider and he's building a web. She actually now let's uh, let's turn that back off. You still you have to go under uh, view and then audio skimming just so we, we won't be distracted by the audio here. Um, this is one clip, right? The, you know, re, and, and look at the edges over here as it wraps around. It's ragged, and it just that's telling you that it's continuing continued on. And here's the end. And here's the beginning. So if we imported another clip in here. Uh, uh, let's see. Let's see if we can do this real quick. Um, here's one. Uh, and I'm going to import that in there. This is me talking about my new iMac. I got it in the first of the year. And uh, not sure I like the juxtaposition of Spider and me, but okay. <laughs> um, and so this is real time. Uh, this can vary quite a bit depending on your format and your uh, and your type of media. Okay, so here I have two clips in here. Let me. I'm just going to extend this beyond what we can see, just so you can see what happens when I drag it out. You can see that you know it, it automatically uh, fits that into the window. Okay, so I'm talking here and I have the skimming turned off. So let's go back to view and let's turn on that on again. And now you can hear me talking. 
Well, then uh, there's a spider. So sometimes that can get really uh, annoying, and, and so we're going to just turn the audio skimming off. Okay, so great. We got two videos in there. So how do we get them down here? First of all, we have to create a project. Now remember, we don't want to create it on the hard drive, and we don't want to do that even on your own personal computer. So here we go. We're going to take this. Here and select, see how we have, have this highlighted? This is our uh, other hard drive. In this case, this would be your personal hard drive. Highlight that, and I'm going to add a project. So how do I do that? Just click this little plus marker right over here, and then it's going to say, uh, what do you want to call it? So we're going to we're going to call it the same thing, which is a general generally a good idea. We'll call it. So before we leave this, uh, these are themes and, and all sorts of things you can do over here. Generally, for your project, for your uh, uh, you're gonna you uh, for the one that you're making for your uh, final project, and indeed all the projects in this class, no theme because it's gonna if you don't it, it inserts all these things, and and that's fine if you you're making a vacation video or uh, uh, something. Uh, for your family, but don't don't really, you know, for serious work, you're, you're probably not going to want to take any of these, and just leave this uh, on the default. Just just leave it all there. Don't change any of this stuff, and I uh, hit create, and so boom, we have a new project down here. Let's see what happened. I'm gonna, and by the way, this is how you toggle back and forth. So you edit and now, okay, and this is it. It's empty, but if you click this. It comes up. So how do we get this down here? Well, there's a couple of ways. Uh, the first way is you can just click, find a starting point, click, and now it automatically selects four seconds. That's just because it was set in the presets. You you can look at that. Well, here, let's go. Oh, let's look at that right now. If you go into uh, right down here in the browser see where it says clicking in event preset selects four seconds you can you can change that to to you know up to ten i think generally you know five five or four is good i forget what it was on so there we go so so now if every time i click down here it's going to select five seconds automatically uh, which is okay uh, you can always change that and here's how we do that so let's say, okay, I want to do that right about there. Okay, that's the starting. But the ending, we can drag to wherever we want. And we can drag that all the way around. And you can find, okay, there's where, let's see. I'm going to end it right there. Okay, so there's my selection. How do I get that from here? There's a couple of ways. You can literally drag it down here. Okay. And there we have it. Or we can go back up here. And I can, I'm going to undo that by hitting Command Z. Okay. And you see there's nothing now in the timeline. Okay, I have my selection. Now I'm just going to press the letter E. And it does the same thing. I really like that function. Uh, it's quicker than just dragging it. So I'm going to click anywhere out of there. And you'll see that my selection is gone, except it isn't. There's the orange that indicates that it went down into my timeline. So I have my first clip already there. Um, and now I can just click anywhere down here. I'm pressing the space bar and it's playing. It seems to be playing kind of slow. The reason is that you're hearing that weird sound I forgot I, I made this clip and I I slowed it down. <laughs> That's why it's called Slow Spider. So it slowed the audio down. Okay, so let's say, uh, okay, so we've got that in there and how do we add something else? So let's go back up here and add something. Uh, I'm gonna start like right about there. It's my start. Remember I click and what's it do? It adds, it selects five seconds all by itself, but I can drag that out. Okay. Uh, now I'm on, and if you'll notice, 
It says 33, 32. It's giving me the length the, of the clip at this point. So there we go. I've got this. That was a 33 second clip. And now how do I get down there? I'm just going to press the letter E and it did a pin. So now, and it's going to cut I to me. I just finished installing everything on it. Okay. <laughs> uh, and uh, there's how, and you just keep doing that. And that's how you add clips.